So if you've been following me for any real length of time, you know that I am an avid Rocky movie franchise fan. In fact, I would even say the original Rocky movie is my favorite movie of all time. So you would imagine how excited I was when Creed was not only announced, but when the first movie was actually really good. And I have my thoughts on the second film, but I was pleasantly surprised and very pleased with it. I did promise you guys a review on that film, but I didn't really get around to it. I do have about a 40 minute or so spoiler review with World of Geekdom coming out on his channel, maybe within the next day or two. So I'm going to link you guys over to that when that actually drops so you can listen to my thoughts and opinions about the movie on there as well. But because I already did that, and I don't want to waste any more time talking about what I thought about Creed 2, even though I have a lot to say about it, I thought I could actually do something a little bit different and pitch a general idea for what Creed 3 could actually be about. And before I get into this, I just want to say I know I'm not the person who's paid to write these scripts. I'm not even sure if this would work in a conceptual level or if people would even buy into it. But my thought process when it comes to the Creed franchise, especially after Creed 2, is that this is trying to build its own identity with its own characters and not be tied to the Rocky mythology forever. If you haven't seen it, I might get into a little bit of a spoiler territory in this video, so please, you know, just stop watching now because I don't want to upset anybody. But for me, Creed 2 really symbolized the end of the Rocky era when it comes to this franchise or just the Rocky franchise as a whole. Sylvester Stallone, as he said recently, is done with these movies. He's done playing Rocky. And while he said that before, I take him at his word this time around because Creed 2 even though we did get solid endings for the franchise and the Rocky character with Rocky V, Rocky Balboa, and Creed, this is probably the best of any world that we can actually believe. Rocky's not going to die, he's going to fix his relationship with his family, and Adonis and Bianca can live happily ever after until the events of the next movie. So, guys, with that being said, let's jump into what I would love to see from Creed 3. Hey YouTubers, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. Okay, so first things first, I think because the Creed franchise is trying to build its own unique identity and get away from what the Rocky franchise was all about, I think the best way to do that is to make this probably the least amount of boxing movie than any of the Rocky or Creed movies before. Of course, it is still a Rocky and or Creed movie, however you really want to view it, but it's a Creed movie more so than ever, at least with this installment. It needs to have boxing. It needs to have boxing montages. It needs to have the final match at the end and everything surrounding that, but we need to focus the story on something different. And no better person, in my opinion, than Tessa Thompson's Bianca to really be the headline focus for this movie and the thing that drives the narrative as we explore the relationship with Adonis and Bianca a little bit further in this movie. First and foremost, that freaking introduction into the final fight for Creed 2 was fantastic and I think we can really jump off of that in a major way in the sequel. You have her getting major exposure from that fight with that introduction and the label that she just recently signed with that they were talking about in Creed 2, she has risen to a superstar level by the time that we're reintroduced to Adonis and Bianca in Creed 3. And even better, you would have her be more famous than Adonis himself. They are a power couple in California. Like, Everyone wants to be the heavyweight champion with like literally the newest singing sensation in the country. And she is just overly famous at this point, but she has that ticking clock. She has her ear problem. Their baby has that ear problem, but she is now losing her hearing all together and it breaks her emotionally. I think one of the things that you can do with this is kind of replay that thing they briefly went over in this last film where she, like Rocky, like Adonis, like it was said to happen to Apollo Creed even though we didn't really see it in the movies, she loses what she had. She loses belief in her identity and she goes into that state of shock and starts to really disconnect to the world around her. And that is why Adonis loses his belt. As they kind of hinted in this movie, 
he loses his belt because he really becomes a recluse with her. He's trying to save her from herself and the depression that comes with losing her hearing and losing her career or potentially losing her career because of it. And he doesn't take a fight or do anything, loses or forfeits his belt to none other than Victor Drago. He comes in, takes over the heavyweight championship belt and just simply becomes the world champion in that regard. In the meantime, as they're dealing with all of their relationship issues and everything that's going on around there, Pretty Ricky gets out of jail. Yes, the first person that Adonis fought in the first movie in the Creed franchise. He finally gets out of jail, enough time has passed, and he once again gets back into boxing and starts to really try to get back the belt that he lost when he went to jail. This is when we get, at some point in the movie, a fight between him and Victor Drago. And what we realize is that Pretty Ricky, during his time in jail, has really toughened up. I mean, this guy has not lost a step. If anything, he's gotten more aggressive and more brutal since he actually went to jail. And he destroys Drago. I mean, really badly destroys Drago in order to get the belt. And that is when we get to the final fight of the movie is Adonis finally figures out how to console Bianca with her career. Maybe she starts to figure out that she can still do music despite the loss of her hearing. And they really make up and he starts training for the final match. You know, he's the one person that everyone really wants to see fight Pretty Ricky again. He fights Pretty Ricky, regains the belt this time, and we kind of live happily ever after. I would be completely happy if that's the end of the Creed franchise, of course because this is its own thing. As long as they don't get super cartoonish or silly about it like the Rocky franchise did, I would allow them to do a fourth, five, and six, whatever, however many they want to do. Tessa Thompson, Michael B. Jordan, two of the best actors of our generation, and they're in like literally my favorite franchise that has ever been produced. I, it's, it's way too awesome to even really talk about without a huge smile on my face. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What would you do with the Creed 3, potentially? I mean, obviously, with the success of Creed 2, I think we're going to get this movie at some point. But this would be, at least in my opinion, a way of establishing the identity of the Creed franchise for the future and not really have it be completely tied to the Rocky franchise and explore characters and situations that the Rocky franchise would have never explored. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. And hey guys, if you wanna talk to me, if you feel like you can't really get my attention on YouTube, which is kind of hard because YouTube's notification and communication system is a little bit wonky at times, make sure to go follow me on Twitter. I am always on Twitter and I can talk to you guys there. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. It's been real.